I was a boy, all I wanted to do was make a scene like that. I had just watched The Two Towers, and there's that bit where Saruman walks out and looks over Isengard at the massive Urukai army, and I just felt so inspired. Unfortunately, back then, I had a little pea brain, meaning I couldn't do it. But now I would liken my brain to something the size of a plum, meaning I'm a bit smarter and can do it. Okay, first things first is to film myself on a green screen. And the most important thing to make your live action look good in a CG environment is the lighting. So here I film myself outdoors with the sun over on my left. I will then mimic the exact same lighting setup when I create my CG environment. Opening Blender, I went into the shader tab and switched to the world. I added a basic sky texture, lowering the strength and increasing the ozone to make the sky more blue. Next, I added a landscape and made it a large terrain. I squished it down on the z-axis and used the true terrain add-on to give it some dirt and grass textures. I got this castle 3D model pack from productioncrate.com and started throwing it all together. To have the castle wall extend out, I added an array modifier to it. I also used another great add-on called Alpha Trees to create this tree line in the distance. And as I said before, the most important thing to get right is the lighting. So I'm going to rotate the sunlight so it's in the exact same position as it was in my live action footage. Just over here on the left. Well, our right, but the character's left. Yeah. Alright, let's make this army. Okay, boom. We've keyed out the green. For this first shot, I imported a still image into FSpy. I used FSpy to get the exact camera angle and focal length of my camera to then be added to a virtual camera inside of Blender. Then I simply just imported the FSpy data into Blender and repositioned it to be on top of the castle wall. I then just rendered out a still image of the castle and dropped it into my compositor HitFilm. Yeah, that, that's about it. For the other two shots, I'll import the green screen footage straight into Blender, since I'll be adding camera movement. The second shot was a bit more work. I added a new camera and placed it on the wall, looking down at the army. I then added my back angle using the images as planes add-on. Make sure you have that enabled in the add-on section. It is also essential to make this layer emit light, meaning it won't be lit by the sky texture. I then animated the camera to pan around the scene. I enabled depth of field and put the focal distance way out in the distance so that I am out of focus. Shot 3 was quite similar to the previous, I just imported the long shot clip and placed them on the wall. I then added a new camera and had it animate backwards through the army, trying to get as close to them as possible without clipping through their helmets. Then under the animation tab, I added some noise modifiers to the camera to give the animation a bit of extra movement. And there we have it, adding some live action stuff to some CGI stuff. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and I will see you later.